What's up guys? So earlier I had a simple review without explaining why you need an antistatic ESD or electrostatic discharge rest strap and some of you asked me to explain how does it work and in this video that's what I'm gonna do. Before we get to that, if some of you don't have it so maybe you should skip to the end of this video. There I'm gonna explain uh, how to use uh, like maybe your hands without uh, this uh, thing here and avoid static uh, charge. So here is my anti-static rest strap. I got it uh, off eBay for 99 cents and before we get to it we need to understand why we need to use it. As you know human body has a static charge so it is charged and it transmits electricity if we are around like charge objects like a machine or wires or computers. Basically any electrical device or any charged object. And it's very important to ground our bodies before fixing a broken electrical device and that's in order to avoid to overcharge it. And uh, that's in order to avoid to overcharge it before it transmits the static and destroys some of our components. So when we use an anti-static rest strap, we ground our bodies and we re reset our voltage to zero or close to zero. So our charge won't destroy any components of the electronics that we try to fix. Now, to use this rest strap is very simple. Just put it around your wrist. You can tighten it. And from the other side, where the metal clip here, we need to ground it. And that's either by connecting it to the chassis of the electrical device like a computer or a, a laptop or any device that we are trying to use or by grounding it to electrical socket that has a ground only and if you don't have an anti-static rest strap what should you do there are like some other ways uh, not to use it and maybe to avoid buying it if you don't need it or if you're not gonna use it a lot or simply because you you cannot buy it maybe because there is no local store around you that can sell it so here is what you need to do you can use an anti-static gloves or you can discharge your body before working on electronics by touching their chassis so just simply put your hand on the metal part or chassis of the electric device that you are gonna fix and be careful not to touch any other objects like plastics or other electrical like things that the charge won't build up again so be sure to touch all the tools that you're gonna use to fix the thing that you're gonna fix and you are good to go. So the static will be the same like the computer that you are going to fix and your static won't destroy it. So finally what you need to know that this thing just doesn't des destroy your components of your electronics simply by not overcharging it. And that's it for me guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and comment and see you in the next video.